Hi, I'm David Bell with USA Mobile Drug Testing. Today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of using hair for drug testing. So as you can see, I have a quite a bit of stuff on the table today with me. Um, depending on the laboratory you're going to use to process the specimen, the actual hair itself, uh, you're going to have a different collection device. So you may see different uh, colors, different packages, but traditionally the collector is going to follow the same exact procedure. Whether they're using scissors and they're cutting a small sample, again, um, here's an example of the amount of hair that we'd want to cut off of your head. Uh, as you can see, it's just a little bit thicker than a pencil lead. And they may use scissors to do that. They're going to clip the hair out of the way. Um, as you can see, from a pro perspective, this is going to be a direct observation. We're observing or we're physically taking the hair from you and putting it in the foil and then packaging it and being sent. You're not going to cheat this test. We're physically cutting the hair off your body. You don't need a same-sex observer like you would in a urine drug screen with a direct observation. And then another pro, this is going to give you a longer detection time. So if your drug testing program is really wanting to know as a culture, does the individual who worked for me, have they used drugs in the last few months? This is the type of test that you're going to do for your random programs in your pre-employment. Um, you may do a different type of test if it's reasonable cause or uh, post-accident situation because this has got a uh, longer detection time to start as well. So you're not going to be able to tell that they use drugs today if you're doing a hair drug test. Um, that's definitely one of the cons. Now, it's a little invasive. Right? You're actually taking hair from somebody. Again, as I said, it's a very small specimen, but you're still doing that. Um, if the hair on their head is too short, we've got to move to other areas. Uh, use the nape of the neck, uh, beard, um, arm hair. Some people try to cheat the test uh, by shaving everything. Well, oftentimes they forget their armpit. That's what they got to do. So uh, again, kind of weird and invasive situation in, in that case. Hair drug testing has a higher cost. It's, it takes more to process the specimen, um, so that's, that's something to consider if this is your test of choice. And again, as we talked about, that specimen type, um, the individual, you do need a little bit of a private space. It can't be done just kind of in an open office, um, so you gotta have all of those things in consideration. Plus, it needs to be fairly clean. I'm not gonna do this test outside, um, which I could potentially do with the other testing types. Um, so when can I use hair drug testing? If you have a DOT drug testing program, uh, you're regulated by any of the Department of Transportation modes, um, you're not going to use this currently today. Uh, you may have seen in the news there's lots of talk about um, HHS trying to, to determine if hair drug testing is the way to go um, with the DOT programs because again, a lot of those individuals, they want to make sure that in their life, they're drug free. Hair drug testing is going to let you know that. So there's lots of talks about it. it may come up uh, soon in the horizon, so keep an eye on that. Look at our blog. We're going to talk a lot about it. And you'll be able to stay up to date. Um, some of the myths, people think, hey, I, I'm going to bleach my hair um, or, or maybe um, I'm going to you know, dye it several times. And that's just going to deteriorate the, follow, you know, the hair itself. Well, we're cutting uh, the specimen, and the laboratory is actually dissolving the hair, so that's, that's not going to impact your result. Um, and, and really the only thing that someone who might be trying to cheat is they're just going to shave everything. Well, then that's going to prevent me from doing the test, and if that's you know, something that you do more recently, knowing you're going to have this type of test done, your employer might be smart enough to think uh, there could be something wrong there, uh, and then turn to an alternative type of drug test, which then is still going to catch you. So... If you have any questions about uh, hair drug testing in your workplace, go to our website, usamdt.com. Look under our services. You can see a lot more details about uh, all those detection times and what hair drug testing can do for your workplace. Or if you'd like to talk, give us a call at 800-851-2021.